Hey Ravens, welcome to Game Day Northwest. I'm Nick Lopez alongside Alex Gable. Today we recapped on last Friday's football game, Thursday's volleyball matches, a football soccer promo, and top five plays of the week. Let's roll. Anyone that participates in high school sports knows how time consuming these activities can be. Here at ONW, it is common to find students that are multi-sport athletes, but what is not as common is to find athletes who participate in multiple sports in the same season. Bryce Lundgren, Matt Vanderslice, and Zach Clay have the story. Seniors Charlie Holmgren and David Boschma, both varsity soccer players, are also going to be playing a major role in the football team this year with David kicking and Charlie punting. I got into playing football because Coach Cooper asked me to and I had done it before and I knew I could do it. Charlie and David talk about the struggles of playing both sports. I'm finding time to practice or going to like practice and figuring out when to be there and stuff. It's time to practice and everything. I mean, it's trying to find time after soccer to go over to football and kick a few times because it's pretty busy. We also sat down with Mr. Gunnarsson and talked about the game against Lee Summit North on Thursday, September 15th. And now varsity soccer is going to be playing at 5 o'clock so that Charlie and David can play football at 7 o'clock. So when I found out that we had a scheduling conflict uh, with both football and soccer being scheduled on the same evening, uh, I went to Coach Graham and asked him if he would want to um, do a doubleheader and, uh, and then also talk to uh, Coach Butler and, and Coach Sherman to see if they were game for that as well. Uh, Coach Graham was willing to move the game to 5 o'clock so that we could get a bigger crowd for both games. He also talks about the conflicts with scheduling having two varsity soccer players and football players. It ended up uh, hurting us a little bit at Goddard, uh, obviously, um, with uh, not having those. Uh, it would have been nice to have them for a field goal early. Uh, could have helped with field position and, and also, uh, you know, definitely in overtime kicking it as opposed to going for two. Um, you know, I think that's just something that you have to live with. Uh, if when you decide as a football coach that you're going to have soccer players uh, as your punter and kicker, um, it's not always ideal uh, because of that. Um, but I think what coach is able to get out of those two uh, definitely outweighs missing them for one game. Make sure to come out and support your Ravens at 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock this Thursday. They're dropping a heartbreaker to Goddard in their season opener. The Raven football team looked to bounce back as they battled crosstown rival Latha East at Seaback Friday night. Rowan Stanley has the highlights. Raven Nation showed out in full force on Friday as Northwest took on crosstown rivals Olathe East. After two first quarter touchdowns, the game turned into a defensive struggle until Charlie Fister got loose for a 45-yard touchdown run, making it 14-7. The great defense continued, including some nice stops from Hunter Patterson and Jake England, along with a hard hit from Cody Marlay, until East found its equalizer in the third quarter. A hard-fought game led to another overtime heartbreaker as Northwest fell 20-14. Last Thursday, the Lady Ravens volleyball team had a quad against Olathe North, Olathe East, and Leavenworth. Olathe North was the first victim to fall to the Ravens on Thursday night. ONW was led all night by the seniors. After beating Leavenworth, the girls took on rival Olathe East. Olathe East gave the Ravens a tough time, but ONW won the match. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Alyssa Clinton and Nick Lopez. Now back to the desk. Two, with two weeks worth of fall sports in the books, ONW has had plenty of awesome plays. Here's the first top five Raven plays of the week. Welcome to the Olathe Northwest Top Plays of the Week. At number five, we have a nice recovery by the Lady Ravens volleyball team during their game against Blue Valley West. At the number four spot, we have a huge hit by Hunter Patterson during their season opener against Goddard. Coming in at number three, we have a great pass by Easton Crupper to tight end Matt Vanderslice for a touchdown. Following the touchdown, we have a nice two-point conversion catch by Joe Hatsfield at the number two spot. And at number one, we have a fantastic save by goalkeeper Charlie Hunger during the Olathe East match. This has been Cooper Kate. Now back to the desk. That's all for Game Day Northwest. Let's send it back to Libby and Bryce.